Hi, I'm Vince Weston. Uh, this is my intro for the my Back to the Future time machine build. And uh, no, I didn't flip the video. This is actually a backward clock. Quartz, a matter of fact. I just picked that up at an estate sale yesterday, a matter of fact. I thought it was kind of appropriate to use as a sort of prop here. But here we go. Um, the kit is the Polar Lights uh, Back to the Future Time Machine uh, from 2002. Uh, this is the prior release of the kit by Polar Lights, unlike the current one that's out. I presume that they're probably identical. So, just as a thought for that. Uh, there's lots of open box reviews of this kit, and I figured I wouldn't take up your time doing a open box review. I'm just going to give you some quick impressions. Um, first, Jimmy Durante. No, uh, uh, impressions of uh, the kit. Um, the first thing I'll start with, of course, is the instructions. Hopefully this comes out a little bit better than it shows. The one thing about this is, is that it's very much just exploded views. And um, its saving grace, of course, is that it does have written portions about the steps. So, of what, what goes when and how. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be following the instructions that closely. So, we'll see. The second impression, of course, is um, the body, which comes in what I could say is nice stainless steel, but my kind of feeling about it is it's a little bright for stainless. It's a little high reflective. So I'm going to probably tone that down a little bit. Uh, maybe with dull coat or, or a satin coat or something. I'll have to see where I go. Um, because the car really isn't quite that shiny. Uh, so that's, that's one thing. Um, most of the... It, I mean, it is a limited parts count. Uh, throw some of the parts out here, um, and this is pretty nicely detailed. There, it, of course, it, it is a snap kit. I think there's like 40 parts or something. I didn't really count them, but it's it's a pretty low part count. Uh, but it does have some nice detail. You know, you can. Well, it's upside down. There's your flux capacitor. Um, so, a lot of that I'll try and paint up. The one thing I find a little confusing, of course, is the chassis. And that's probably more because there's no exhaust pipes that I can find. There seems to be two pipes running along here, on either side of the frame. I don't know if that's supposed to be their representation of it, but the whole thing is it's a rear-engine vehicle and your cooling, your radiator is up front, so I, I'm not sure what that's 100% supposed to represent, because it sure shouldn't be exhaust. So, anyway. Um, originally I was going to do the uh, Mr. Fusion version. Here's the parts for that. Um, which is this piece over here. And I'm thinking, since this is actually supposed to be the Back to the Future time machine, that's kind of a little ridiculous. So I'm going to probably go back to the original piece, but I'm thinking I'm not going to put the uh, electric rod on it. 
I may keep it in such a state that I can switch between these two. I don't know. I'll probably do up all the parts and figure it out once I get there. So, that's kind of it. Um, I The last week I've been doing a lot of uh, searching on the web to try and find uh, some research material for the car. And, uh, you know, a lot of people keep talking about the, the you know, I saw studio uh, versions of this, or uh, what do you call it? It's the studio model of this. And I'm not really having that much luck. I don't know where people find those, so if anybody can help me, that'd be cool. Um, I did find a website that was called uh, Time Machine Restore. Actually, they're mostly on Facebook. Uh, they took the uh, the A car and from Universal, from where it's have been having parts fall off, and uh, apparently they found a lot of them. Uh, the employees would pick them up and take them home with them. So, um, but anyway. Uh, they, they've done a complete restoration. I believe they finished in 2012 in preparation for uh, this year. And the car now is back at Universal Studios, uh, well, one of the theme parks. And it's um, in a glass case. So most of the pictures are a little tough to see. Um, so that's uh, where I've gotten some of my research material for for this build. Uh, one other thing I'll just point out real quick if you didn't, if you're not aware, um, this one I believe the latest release came with stickers and uh, decals for the um, license plates. That's the only ones they provide. And this kit actually only has the stickers, you know, for the flying version with the Mr. Future on it, which is from the end of the first movie, beginning of the second, and the out of time license plate. Um, so that, that that's that's the kit, and that's the parts. I mean, it looks pretty good. It's pretty flash free. Uh, I actually don't see any flash on it, so I think it should be a, a fairly quick build, um, yeah, with the exception of a lot of detail painting of small parts, uh, things like the dash and stuff, and some of the back pieces for the time machine that, that go in, in the back window, and of course painting the body for the wiring along here. That's going to be a little time consuming, I think, and lots of small brushes. But hopefully it'll go quickly. Uh, I have lost a week since I've been not doing anything. But that that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, so I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Happy Easter. And happy Passover which was yesterday and appliance to today. Um, and we'll see you later. Have fun. Bye.